Hello everybody. In this video I will show you another interesting magnet array that you see here. And this is a circular magnet array with 16 of this 1 cm cube magnets that I arranged in a special arrangement that I will explain later. And in the center core that you see here we have an electromagnet with three separate coils wound around a steel core. And I will just quickly show you the magnetic field that we get from this arrangement. This is when no power is applied to the center core. And now I will turn up the power. And you can already see as I increase the voltage, the amplitude also increases. And yeah, we get this nice oscillating field. If I get further away from it, like this. You will see always the cross section of the field and how it expands and collapses. And right now there is a sine wave signal applied to it at 3 Hz. I can also increase the frequency to around 4 Hz and you will see it is actually more violent right now. We'll go away a bit further and notice this is not sped up or any slow motion. This is real time footage of the field itself. And as you can see also on the outside, the field itself is like shaking. So the entire field is affected and is oscillating. Just by applying a sine wave signal to the center electromagnet. And if I decrease the voltage again, you will also see how the oscillation diminishes. Like this. And I can also increase the, uh, the frequency a bit more, as you can see here. So now that you have seen a sine wave signal, I will show you what a square wave signal will look like. Now this is a square wave signal at 4 Hz. And as you can see, the oscillation looks a bit different now. Now I will decrease the frequency to even lower frequencies of 1 Hz. So this is a 1 Hz square wave signal. And you can see it is more of a quick pulse than a slow fading oscillation. I will increase the frequency a bit more now. Now we are again at 4 Hz. So what you see here is a cross section of the magnet array that you just saw. And this magnet array consists of two ring magnets or ring arrays. And in the top array you can see all south poles are facing inwards and on the bottom array all north poles are facing inwards. And in the center we have our steel core with three coils wound around it. So I've marked uh, three different coils in three different colors in red, blue and green. And the two center coils are wound in a bifolar arrangement. And for now, I've connected them in a parallel configuration to my audio amplifier. So basically, what you just saw was the red and the blue wire connected in parallel to the audio amplifier. And as I played a sine wave or an oscillating signal onto these coils, it created an oscillating magnetic field within the steel core and this of course changed the overall shape of the whole magnetic field of this array. And what I'm going to do next is I will connect a load to the third coil. This would be the green marked wires which is my output coil. And yeah, I will show you what this looks like now. So what you see here is the whole setup that I used to drive this coil. I have my DC power supply that is powering 
that uh, amplifier and I've got my oscilloscope with a built-in function generator that generates the signal for my amplifier. And right now I've connected the inner two coils that I just showed you to my amplifier and the green output coil is connected to this LED ring and I've also connected the probes of my oscilloscope to the LED ring itself. So what you will see on the oscilloscope is the signal that directly arrives on the LEDs. And now I will turn up the voltage. And as you can see the LEDs already start to glow. And you can also see um, the amplitude is rising on the oscilloscope itself. And we got our 1 kHz signal played right now that you can also hear because this magnet array although nothing is really moving in it acts like a yeah, kind of a solid state speaker as you can already hear if I crank up the voltage even more the LEDs will get brighter it will get louder but it will also get really hot so I can't do this for a long time and I can also change it from a sine wave to a square wave signal. As you can see the LEDs get slightly brighter and we get a square wave signal here. You can also see the power consumption. Right now I'm driving it at 24 volts and around 0.2 amps. So that's my power consumption that is needed for this to oscillate and for the LEDs to drive it. And what is interesting, what you can see is when I use a square wave signal, you get this voltage spikes here at the beginning of the signal, which would be an indicator of the collapsing field that you first saw when I, um, yeah, when I showed it under the magnetic viewing film, when I applied a square wave signal. I can also adjust the frequency on the, that I play on the device. And you can clearly hear it when I change the frequencies. Like this. Here you see the frequency I'm using. And of course this device can also be used as a speaker. So I will show you what it looks like with the LEDs when I play some music on it. So now I will play some music on the, yeah, let's call it solid state speaker. As you can see it also drives the LEDs to the beat of the music of course. But as you can hear it is not particularly loud and most of the loudness comes from it lying on this table which acts as a resonator. If I pick it up you can see it is not as loud as before but it's still audible. Yeah, that is just an example of how you can also make a kind of a solid state spe speaker with this. Because with a normal speaker you have a, a coil that is freely moving inside of a ring magnet and as it moves it is connected to a membrane which is creating sound waves in the air. But with this the whole array itself is shaking and creating the sound. So and now I'll show you what the field itself looks like when I play some music on it. I'll try to get different views and I think this is really interesting to see how the field itself oscillates with the music.
So yeah, that is a real-time view of the magnetic field itself when you play music on it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.